So you want your Skyrim to go from this to this. This is the only tutorial you will need to get started. This is a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to mod Skyrim Anniversary Edition. Before starting, make sure you have 7-Zip and WinDryer installed on your computer. You will also need an Access account created. Start off by installing Skyrim Special Edition and the Anniversary Edition DLC. When installed, run Skyrim. Go into Options and pick a graphics preset your computer can handle. When you have launched Skyrim, download all content. This might take a while. When downloaded, close Skyrim. SKSE, aka Skyrim Script Extender, is something you will need for most mods to work. Download the latest AE build into your downloads folder. Locate your Skyrim SE folder. You can find your Skyrim SE folder like this. Drag all of the SKAC files you downloaded into your Skyrim SE folder. If asked to replace files, do so. Remember to keep the SKAC files in your downloads. You will need it later. Start by creating a folder somewhere on your computer and name it MO2. I made mine on the E drive where my Steam apps is installed. Just make sure there is enough space. Download MO2 from Nexus into your downloads folder. Double click the file and accept the agreement. When asked where to install the program, choose the MO2 folder you created. When it gives you the option to, create the shortcut to your desktop. Now, let's launch MO2. If you did not create the shortcut to your desktop, you can launch MO2 in its folder by clicking the Mod Organizer application. Let's create a new instance. Create a global instance. For the game, choose Skyrim Special Edition. Connect to your Nexus account. When asked for a tutorial, say no. Most importantly, when asked if you want Mod Organizer to associate with NXM links, say yes. This will let you download mods straight into MO2 from Nexus. Let's add the script extender to MO2. Open up the download section on the right side of MO2. Then, open up your downloads folder on your computer. Drag the SKSC files as a VDRI package into the downloads tab of MO2. When downloaded, Double-click it. Find the data folder. Right-click and select Set as Data Directory. Activate SKSE by ticking it in the left side of MO2. From now on, this is the only place where you will open up Skyrim from if you want to play it with mods. To test if SKSE works, open up console by clicking the key under ASK on your keyboard. Write in console, get SKSE version. If it works, it will say something like this. To teach you how to download mods, let's download the unofficial Skyrim Special Edition patch together. Before downloading any mod, read the mod page first. 
This wants you to have the DLCs loaded in this specific order in Mod Organizer. Go into MO2 and drag them to be so. Always check requirements if there is any other mods you need to download for it to work. This mod does not require any other mods. Go to Files. Click Mod Manager Download on the main file. Now we shall automatically start downloading in the Downloads tab on the right side of MO2. If this for some reason doesn't work, this is how you manually download a mod into MO2. Choose Download Manually. Download it into your Downloads folder. Drag the VNRAR package into the Downloads tab of MO2. If the files for some reason is not as a VNRAR package, you can turn them into so like this. When downloaded, double-click the mod, then activate it in-game by ticking it on the right side of MO2. If you are new to modding, loot is a must. It will help you sort your plugins and let you know what mods doesn't work together if they need patches or other mods to work properly. Download loot from its website into the downloads folder. Choose your language and install loot on the same drive as MO2. You do not need to create the desktop shortcut, instead always run it through MO2. If loot is not detected in this drop-down window, restart MO2. If it still is not detected, you can manually add it like this. Click Edit. Add from File. Double-click on the Loot application in the Loot folder. Write in the Arguments field this. Make sure to always apply before hitting OK. Now run loot. Make sure the game is a Skyrim SC and make sure it detects the script extender. After every time you download mods, make it a habit to sort your plugins by clicking these three bars and then apply. If you got two mods downloaded that collide with each other, the mod under will always override the mod above. Sometimes if there is a texture issue, the solution can be moving one mod under another. Only download a few mods at once and test them in-game before downloading more. You do not want to be in a situation where you're trying to figure out which mod is crashing your game out of 100. Trust me, I have been there. A lot of the mods for Skyrim SE is not made for Anniversary Edition yet, so there will be some problems. If there is any error messages popping up when launching the game, it probably means that the mod is not made for Skyrim Anniversary Edition. 